Hello and welcome to our Learning with KGS series. I'm Tim Benson. I'm head of STEAM at Kingston Grammar School. Uh, it's great to speak to you today from my virtual classroom, which, um, as you can see, looks a little bit like a sauna, rather ironically for a head of STEAM. Um, I hope you're keeping well in the current situation. I'm sorry not to be able to see you at uh, KGS itself. Um, but we'll do our best to give you a flavour of what we do. Uh, so STEAM at KGS stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Maths. It's about taking a holistic approach to the subject and learning with technology. Technology infiltrates all aspects of our lives now. So whatever discipline you end up doing when you leave school is bound to use technology. So we try and from an early stage get you thinking about how technology works with other subjects. So we might be using code to, to work with circuits. Uh, we might be designing with Lego and building with Lego, bringing in engineering aspects and design aspects. Um, so we think that gives us a kind of unique approach to computing, really, at, at, at our school. Um, we have great facilities so at, uh, at, at our school. We have a, a dedicated steam room, uh, which is not quite as it sounds, but it's packed full of equipment um, such as Raspberry Pis. There's a Raspberry Pi here, Raspberry Pi computer, fantastic computer, uh, which allows us to do lots of physical computing projects. Um, we have microbits. I've got one here. It's currently set up to be a Magic 8 ball. That might be for the parents. Um, and uh, we've got uh, lots of space, a fantastic suite of laptops. We've also got another uh, IT suite uh, that we can use uh, to learn about computing, programming, uh, all sorts of things that we do in our subject. So in the first year, uh, you'll be learning, uh, you'll first of all start with a bit of an introduction to how our IT systems work at Kingston Grammar School. So learning about uh, our, our VLE platform and how to use like email and uh, things like that. So we do cover the standard skills as well. Um, but we'll be diving straight into projects, uh, to be honest, using a lot of the Microbit, which is a fantastic uh, little microprocessor for creating projects with Python and a block-based coding language. Um, and we'll be moving on to a traffic light project where we create, we're using a Raspberry Pi, connect LEDs to it, and we create a lovely little traffic light project which tests your com computational thinking. So can, can you work out how to get the traffic light system uh, working? In the second year, uh, we focus on web design uh, and HTML skills. We also have a fantastic Lego project. Uh, if you check out the Steam Room and look at the, the floor, you'll see our, uh, our challenge mats. Um, where we use uh, Lego Mindstorms and we program the robot, robots using a, a block-based coding language uh, to try and solve various challenges. So that's all about problem solving. It's all about getting you thinking uh, about how you can use the tech and use the design, use the code to solve problems. Uh, and it's great fun as well. Uh, in the third year, we do a bit of um, a bit more Python. Um, we use a Raspberry Pi again and something called a Sense Hat, which is a little hat that goes on top with LEDs. And it's used in, in the ISS, the International Space Station. Um, there's a fantastic competition every year called Astro Pi, where people send up code to uh, get it working in space, which I encourage you to check out. Um, so we'll, we do a project based around that, which is, again, using elements of the Python that they've learned, which is the, the programming language that we focus on. Then higher up the school in year 10 and 11, we obviously have the GCSE in computer science, which allows you to take your programming skill even further and learn more about technology generally, about some algorithms that make our world work, the internet, for instance, networking, all these things that have a huge impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, we follow the OCR spec J277 as of next year. Um, we also have a huge range of clubs. Um, so we've got the Junior and Senior Makers Club, uh, Digital Makers Club, and they take part in all sorts of uh, fantastic competitions like Astro Pi, uh, but also Pi Wars, which is a, an annual competition at Cambridge University Robotics Competition, which if you look really carefully in the vir virtual tour, you can see our second place trophy from last year. Uh, and you can see some of the robots uh, around the room. You can see this year's robot on the table and last year's robot up in the display case. So look out for those. Um, and these are fantastic opportunities to, to build with technology and, and take some of your own projects a bit further. So I know you're all stuck at home at the moment, uh, potentially, um, trying to learn uh, at home. And if you're in really interested in technology, I've got a few tips for you. Um, there are some great resources that you can check out, particularly on the Raspberry Pi Foundation website. These are the guys that make this computer. They've got a great learning at home series, uh, which allows you to create projects with Scratch, which you, you're probably familiar with, 
but they've got loads of different things on there to take your learning further. Um, I also recommend these micro bits. They're, they're not too expensive, only 10 to, 50, uh, 10 to 20 pounds-ish to get started. Um, you can create loads of fun projects on that if you're interested in using either block-based coding languages or finding out about, a bit more about Python. Okay, well, thank you for listening. Um, and please stay up to date with our department. We're on the Twitter, the Twitter, on Twitter, at, at KGS Steam. Um, so I hope you're all keeping well, and I look forward to welcoming you to KGS next time we're able to. Um, goodbye.